why is it that school is mandatory in some countries and why school is so pushed onto our young ones? Well, I asked this question to the people that want to homeschool. And, you know, in, in England, Britain, United Kingdom, people do homeschool. They quite literally told me it's because in schools, they actually teach our children to become victims. They allow bullying to go on. And if you fight back at the bully, the victim gets punished. That's one. Second of all, they told me when people go to these, they think they are public schools. They are not. They're all private schools now. That the level of education is so substandard that it's actually being engineered to make children accept dumb, stupid things like teaching mathematics in such a pathetic way that they don't grasp the idea that, a, say, a four-year-old child in Africa can. They actually purposely engineer them to become innumerate as possible. The other element is that they don't teach them how grammar works. They don't teach them syntax, how to formulate sentences so they can pen their own letters. So they don't make them innumerate. They don't make them numerate. They don't make them literate, and they purposely sabotage the education to forcibly say to them that you have to now choose your even your gender at the age of four, and once you choose it, we can give you an we can give you an operation, physical operation to alter their sex. Even these are only some of the objections that the people that homeschool discussed with me. Each one especially those ones that are forcing babies to choose a gender and to terrorize them if they don't. That's why they homeschool. That's why the schools are so toxic to the children. The mothers and fathers have to take them out. Why? Because the state wants to dumb down your children so they can sell them mortgages, they can sell them credit cards, they can sell, sell them to surgically alter their, their uh, physical parts of their body to encourage all manner of perversions that would get somebody hung, to promote pornography and child sex, especially amongst adults having child sex with children and saying that that's just a sexual preference, that when a, that when a grown man wants to penetrate a six-year-old girl, they want to call that sexual preference. These are the hideous things that is going on. They are on maximum force. They're using maximum force to, to the schools to pervert, corrupt, and toxify, even weaponize your children against you, against their own parents. The state is doing this on the back of instructions that they have received from what is termed as private people. I'm asking myself, whatever happened to the good private men and women? Are they so cowardly they won't step up and take on these private schools masquerading as public schools? Write to any secretary of state for education or anything else. They say we only have power over public schools and we do not have any power over curriculums over any other schools, which they are saying to you openly, all the schools that you are making complaints about are non-public and they are private. That's why all the schools in England are behind 40 feet, sometimes 40 feet fences, and nobody can leave and nobody can come out. If you take your children out, they call the police to say that you have kidnapped your own children. Social services come into these schools and take children out at their will and fly them over to different countries, saying that we have the right to do so. The parents, the mother or the father, is terrified, horrified that their child has been flown to a different country on the back of somebody's say-so. We, we have, just on the back of that one question that I was asked, we have a night, nightmare scenario running through our world. What I would like to see and what I would like to work towards 
is to hang these people until they are dead. All of a sudden, the word kindergarten makes a lot more sense. It's German for child garden. So you're literally cultivating children. So kindergarten means cultivating children. What does children mean? Children means purchasing. Children quite literally means it's another word to be able to purchase. Somebody gave you this word called children. You never used to call yourself the, your babies or your sons and daughters children. Somebody put that word in so they can take and they can take control of your children, voluntarily saying that they are open to purchase, or be it. That's what the back of your mind, which controls nearly all of you, knows what it means. That hence Henry can't fight back. It's crippled. With the language, they crippled our ability to control our own sons and daughters. That's what they do. They trade children. They trade their organs. That's not the only thing children means. What else does a child mean? It comes from the word childermus. As you know, um, childermus is uh, revenued for revenued now into Christmas, Christ Mass. It was the um, order from King Herald for the contract of children under the age of two to stop the Christ line from coming through. He would well, need to stop the light that can outshine his darkness and, and his harvesting, basically. So if we was to put it, you know, much more directly, it's a word that was generated by King Herald court in the Bible yeah. that Joseph and Mary fled from because the king was looking for the Christ baby 